Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to solve a titration question taken from the ATP P4 O levels 5070. So let's begin. It says a student does a series of titrations to determine the percentage of ethnoic acid in a sample of vinegar. So we got a vinegar and uh, we have to find the percentage of ethnoic acid. So we got these diagrams and uh, name the three pieces of apparatus. The A, you know, there's a tap over here and uh, it's 0 to 50. So this one is the burette, while the center one, B, is the conical flask. Or we can say it titration flask. This one, C, is volumetric flask. Now, the student measures 5 cm cube vinegar. Okay, so we got 5 cm cube vinegar in apparatus C and makes up 250. So what we are doing is that uh, we use this one. We put in 5 cm cube vinegar over here and then we added water more to make it a 250 cm cube solution. So that means this solution which is actually 250 cm cube it contains a 5 cm cube of the vinegar. So what we are doing is actually we are diluting the solution okay 5 cm cube vinegar is diluted with water to make it 250 now apparatus a is filled with sodium hydroxide so we got the burette filled with this sodium hydroxide and uh, for each titration 25 cm cube of diluted vinegar is transferred to the apparatus b in the uh, titration flask using the mirroring cylinder okay a few drops of methyl orange indicator was added fine so what we have got is that uh, we have taken 25 cm cube solution of this diluted vinegar transferred it into the conical flask and then from the burette uh, we have placed this flask over here and uh, we have added sodium hydroxide into the burette and uh, the concentration is 0 0.025 so this one is 0 0.025 mole per dm cube this is the concentration of sodium hydroxide and uh, this one the flask it contain the diluted vinegar and uh, we have added methyl orange into it vinegar is an acid okay so the diagram shows parts of apparatus a with the liquid levels in the at the beginning and end of the titration 4 so we have to uh, put in this values over here in the table uh, titration 1 2 and 3 they are already filled so we have to fill only titration number 4 so when you are reading the burette always read from less to more so here is 18 don't read it 19.2 it's actually 18.8 uh, so the final reading it will be 18.8 while the initial reading is this is 0 and uh, this is 0 0.5, 0 0.6 it will be. And now we'll subtract. The first one will be 19.0. This one will be 7, 18.7. And this would be uh, 2 and uh, 18. So 18.2, uh, 18 18.7, 18 and 19. So now we have to find which two titrations they are the best. The best titrations are those which are close to one another. The two titrations which are closest to one another, they are 2 and 4 because they have a difference of 0 0.2. So we'll take them and choose them as the best titrations. So now we have to find the average titer. Titer means that we have added from the burette. So the average titer, it would be uh, you will choose only the best titrations don't choose the other okay so we've got 18.0 plus 18.2 and divided by 2 because we are having two readings so the average would be 18.1 centimeter cube is the volume used so let's move ahead we have found the average the saying suggest an improvement that the student can make in the method to make the results more accurate so let's see the method that we have gone through just so in the method uh, what we have done that uh, we have taken the 25 cm cube of the diluted vinegar 
with the help of this measuring cylinder. 25 cm cube is an exact volume. So measuring cylinder is not a good choice because it is less accurate. So the more accurate one is pipette. So uh, the improvement that we can make is that use pipette. So we'll use uh, pipette instead of uh, the measuring cylinder which is more accurate. So that's it. Next. The second student does another series of titrations using the same solution. The student obtains an average titer of 18.4. So they have given you a value. So forget about the values that you have got. Now you have to uh, use 18.4 in the upcoming calculations. So 18.4 cm cube is actually the volume of sodium hydroxide. And here we got the concentration. Now we can find the moles of sodium hydroxide. So you know moles is equal to C into V and volume uh, should be in a dm cube. So we will divide it with 1000. So it would be uh, 0 0.025 times 18.4 over 1000 that will give you the moles. So it would be 0 0.00046. These are the moles of sodium hydroxide in 18.4 cm cube now calculate the number of moles of ethanoic acid present in the uh, diluted vinegar okay so we'll use the equation actually since we have found the moles of naoh so uh, you see in the equation it's one ratio one so that means the same moles of uh, ethanoic acid we will have in the diluted vinegar because they react in one ratio one now, the diluted vinegar solution is made by making the original 5 cm cube vinegar up to 250. So, these are the moles in 25 cm cube of the diluted vinegar. Now, look what we have done initially. We have got uh, 5 cm cube and uh, we have put that in water to make it 250 cm cube. Okay. So, we took initially 5 cm cube of the vinegar and added water to make it 250. So whatever moles of uh, ethanoic acid were present in 5 cm cube, they were actually present in this 250 because we have put 5 cm cube over here and then added water. That means this whole solution 250 cm cube contains the same number of moles as present in 5 cm cube. I hope it's clear. Now what we have done for the titration, we have taken out 25 cm cube from it and we have measured that this 25 cm cube it contains 0 0.00046 moles. 25 cm cube out of 250 contain these many moles. So uh, what about 250? If 25 cm cube contain these many moles, what about uh, 250 cm cube x so it's cross multiply to get the answer and that will be times 10 so it make it 0 0.0046 now these are the moles present in 250 cm cube and that will be same as present in 5 cm cube of the vinegar that's it now calculate the concentration in mole per dm cube ethanoic acid in this sample so we have to find the concentration these are the moles and uh, you know moles is equal to moles is equal to c into v but how much volume we got we got 5 cm cube and divided by 1000 so that will give you the concentration let's find so the answer would be 0 0.92 so this was a titration question taken from the past paper p4 i hope that you have understood we'll solve more titration questions in the next videos. Till then, goodbye.